Sorry. Kitchen today. That is right. Our resident foodie, Shane Rogers, aka Chef Shawnee. Is that your uh, Food Network star? That's my alter ego. That's right. Now we're just going (laughs) to make a quick and tasty, easy appetizer. Great to see you again, Shane. How are you? Great to be here. I'm great. Look at this spread right here. What are we making? We are making some cherry pepper stuffed with fresh mozzarella, and kind of the rest of it is all up to you. So pick what you like. Oh, we've we're got... in trouble, Bill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Cheryl said it's cooking with no cooking. Well, a you can ago. yeah, you can totally eat them just as they are, but you can also pop them in the oven and melt the cheese for just a couple of minutes, and it's mm-hmm. a whole different bite. They look cooked. Well, they're these are pickled cherry peppers. Oh, I was pickled. hoping to f- yeah pickled. Okay. So they are a little cooked and then preserved and jarred. Okay. Um, so they're probably you know just ready to go. But and, I buy them that way. I don't. No, do you that told myself. no, no, no. Okay. You buy them that way. Okay, good. <laughs> There are <laughs> things that I do that not everyone does, Bill, so that was a good question. Okay, good. Um, so, uh, these have a little kick? They're a little spicy? That you can, that's actually a good question. They have some that are sweet and some that are spicy. So if you are buying them and you're not so good with the heat, you want to make sure you get the sweet ones. Okay. Um, we're going to start out. We've got eight ounces of mozzarella, and it's kind of cubed, and there's actually lots of different kinds of um, sizes of cubes because the peppers are bigger and smaller. Mm-hmm. And you can see some of these are really tiny, and some of them are bigger. So it's not so pr- um, important that you're perfect with this. It's just more that, you know, you know, you get them so that they'll fit in your peppers and you don't break them. And if it doesn't fit, you can always eat it. Well, absolutely. You can just right trim a little bit off. Yes. So, <laughs> good thinking. Uh, so we're just going to top this with a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon or so. And we're going to marinate these or actually just flavor them because we're not going to let them sit too long. Ooh, missed that one. One got um, away. Exactly. With a little bit of oregano mm-hmm. and a basil. Dash. And uh, use kind of to your taste. And a little teeny bit of crushed red pepper, depending mm-hmm. on how much you like the spice, or if a big tiny bit of crushed pepper. So if you pepper. put the pepper in there and you've got a spicy pepper, then... It can really yeah, can pack it, a it, kick. Yeah. Yes. Have a glass yeah. of milk in. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So just mix these around a little bit. And you could let them sit for a while, mm-hmm. but you don't have to. And so now we're going to get to the stuffing. We, and we hear all the time that the Mediterranean diet is so good for us, and and, and this is and olive oil is a key factor in mm-hmm. that. Yeah. It's really good for you. Yes, absolutely. A lot of good heart healthy stuff. Um, so now we get ready to stuff them. You can stuff them with just the cheese. You can stuff them with a little bit of basil. You can stuff them with a little bit of uh, soprasada I have today. Or, so there's really you know, no rhyme or reason. Whatever I mean, you, you like. What you like. What so you like. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use basil for the first one. Just kind of wrap it in there and tuck it in Ooh, and poof. That. And actually, Done. these are kind of getting ready to go in the oven. So, yeah, I mean, if you all want to go ahead and stuff one, that'd be awesome. Or if you don't want to put your hands in it. Stuff I'll... it, Bill. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the coolest knife ever. Look at this. Where did we get this? It was a gift from my sister-in-law. Oh, She keeps me. Nice. Keeps, yeah, she is very nice. Wait a minute. I'm going to get two in there because I'm stuffing it. You get as much as you like in there. It. It's yeah. all up to okay. you, Bill. And since I used my fingers, yeah, yeah, then, yeah. then I have to eat it, right? Well, you totally can. Well, so you don't necessarily <laughs> have to cook these again. You they're don't. Ready to you can, go. They're ready to go. Chill them for a little bit, maybe in the fridge, or pop them in the oven. It's kind of your choice. I like them in the oven, kind of maybe when it's colder out. Mm-hmm. But now that it's getting warmer, and you know, it's a nice, cool, and refreshing treat if you, uh, you know, would like to uh, have it on the patio in the afternoon. So Shane, you said this is eight ounces of mozzarella. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many would that make roughly? It depends on the peppers. Probably it would fill two of the ten ounce jars of peppers if you pull the peppers out and uh, start stuffing them, I think you probably could get two jars out of it. And you bake it, you say you're going to put these in the oven for how long? For, uh, at what? for about 10 minutes at 350, just to melt the cheese and maybe crisp up the edges of the mm. sotrasada. Not too long. And you don't want to, you know, the peppers are already cooked and the mozzarella is fresh, so you don't want to cook it too much because it'll kind of disintegrate. But yeah, it's totally easy and uh, you just kind of keep going. Grab it's like one for, guest, one for the guest, one for me. Well, absolutely. One for the guest, one for me. <laughs> don't think that's not true because I totally do that. <laughs> we had 70 of them. <laughs> <laughs> we had, we had a whole plate of them, but suddenly not you didn't so much. You get here quick enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, All right, what else can we have? We had basil. We got a uh, little salami, a prosciutto. Uh, Prosci- uh, prosciutto would be awesome in okay. this. Any of the cured meats, that would be great. And, um, you know, honestly, I like the ones with just the cheese because, you know, the more cheese, the better. Bill had the right idea with I got two, two in pieces my... in there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I think this is a great idea. I can just buy the peppers mm-hmm. like they are. Yeah. And, and and they look like that. They're hollowed out. I don't have to hollow you them out. You have to clean them a little bit. Sometimes they have some seeds and oh, some kind see, of resin. Oh, you're backing up. Well, <laughs> I, I, I really don't like pepper seeds. You can ask my mother okay. about that. I'm very picky about the pepper seeds. So okay. if you're not as picky about the pepper seeds, okay. then maybe you don't have to clean them out as well. But I'am not a fan of pepper seeds. All right. And then serving them right here, is it just on a bed go. of spinach or something it's like that? 
the presentation. Of field greens, absolutely. Sprinkle right. it with anything there. In the I sprinkled it with some more of the herbs that we um, used to put in the cheese. Take it, Greg. I mean, all right, you got it. <laughs> hey, Shane, thank you so much. You're welcome.